All right. Today we have Victor Luna, who will be on the upcoming season of Project Runway. How are you doing today? I'm pretty well. I'm very excited about the show. Yes, yes. So uh, tell me, why did you want to come back for a third time? You were initially on season nine mm -hmm. and on All Stars or All Stars season three. What made you want to come back? Well, I got invited, first of all, but I am honored and excited to be part of this cast because it's the 20th anniversary. So you can imagine out of all the designers, they probably looked at everybody and they uh, invited me. So I'm very humble and honored to be part of it again. Awesome. So what are viewers going to see? How have you evolved as a designer since you were last see seen on the show? Uh, well, you know, since since the show, I haven't stopped sewing. I've been doing and collaborating and, and working on collections. So they're going to see a lot of growth, a lot of different things that I've done before, like jackets, uh, uh, suiting, leather jackets, dresses, gowns. I'm pretty well-rounded. So, you know, <laughs> they're going to see a lot of new things. Good, good. And what did you take away from this experience personally? You know, I just I just went to have fun. Um, I didn't take it as serious as other seasons. It's it's a competition. It's a show, and I just really went there with my my heart open and my mind open and my creativity. Mm -hmm, definitely. So when you saw which other all stars were competing, who did you immediately see as your biggest competition? Oh my God, they're all big competitions. I mean, they're all like. And I'm not just being like, you know, diplomatically correct or, or politically correct, but mm -hmm. everybody has something to bring to the table. And the judges obviously are, it's uh, fashion is very subjective. So it could be anybody. So for me, it's not necessarily I had one person that was in competition, but everybody is. But if I have to choose someone just because of the same genre, it will probably be Laurent, Laurent's. Okay. Because okay. that's leather jacket. So it's kind of like, you know, it's my, it's my, field or my lane too so she could be one of them yeah okay awesome well you've gotten close to winning before I mean very very close you were like you mm -hmm. like got third place on one of your other seasons right yeah yeah so, so what would it mean for you to win this season I mean it would mean the world I need to kind of uh reclaim that uh that start that uh what is it called the title of being one of the best designers of America. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, definitely. So for those who don't know, how did your journey with fashion begin? Did you always want to be a designer? Um, yes and no. I mean, it all started when I was a teenager. I used to wear a lot of punk rock stuff, but uh, obviously there was no stores besides Hot Topic. So I used to make my own stuff. And then my mom was a sewer. So for me, it was kind of easy transition. I started looking at her sew and, and make samples. And it was just kind of one of those things where it's in, inherent in you. And you mm -hmm. just visualize everything. And, and I just gravitated to. When I went to New York City, I, I, I studied uh, um, photography because that's what I thought I wanted to do at that time. But as I started shooting a lot of or doing projects with other designers or young designers I realized oh my god I could do this way better mm, <laughs> so <yeah. laughs> I just picked up a sewing machine and started practicing and and it just went from there I went to school to FIT and then from there I was like this is what I want to do I really enjoy it I really love it every, every day it's like like not work for me Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, fashion is constantly changing. And you kind of mentioned that punk rock genre aesthetic. Is that the certain style and aesthetic you often uh, gravitate towards? Um, it's always evolving. I, I grew up with the punk rock music and rock music. So for me, it's easy to go into a comfort zone. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it comes naturally to me. But at the same time, I like to explore another romantic or gothic or, you know, it, it all depends on my mood. I think collections for me and, and building them give me an avenue to express myself and to be artistic. So I don't just do punk rock. Like, for example, this collection that I'm doing right now is very artistic. It has a lot of uh, classic art from like the Met Museum, okay. things like that. So I just get inspired and I just run with it. Okay, cool, cool. Are you usually inspired by anything in particular or just whatever comes your way? You know, I create a story first. I have to create a story of that person that I'm dressing mm -hmm. and then it comes my way. So like I said, for example, this one, I was very much influenced by a lot of uh, portrait arts that I see in the museums. Yeah. I used to be a member at the match in New York City. So all of that just kind of like uh, comes to me and I'm like, what can, what, what do these people wear? How can I modernize it? How can I make it new? 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I create a story and that's kind of how the collections come together. Okay, perfect. Now you have worked with several big names, including Jennifer Lopez, Adam Rippon, Lil' Kim, Laverne Cox, Daniel Brooks. Who is your dream celebrity to design an outfit for? Tilda. Tilda? Tilda and also Tilda and uh, Timothy uh, Chalamet. Okay, okay, perfect. So ultimately, what kind of mark do you hope to leave on the fashion industry? I just want to inspire people. I think we are all here to inspire others and push them to do to be their best as a human being. And and uh, when I create art, I'm not just creating it for myself. I want people to wear it, feel good, and and uh, have that emotion of confidence. Mm -hmm. And that's why you know being here and doing my creations is more about satisfying and seeing someone's transition of of confidence. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah, definitely. But what is the best advice you can offer to any aspiring uh, designer? Practice. Practice makes perfect. Okay. It, you know, it's it, I, I can say that for me, I'm not perfect in everything, but I can do a lot of things. <laughs> but it all it's it all thanks. It's all thanks to practice and working with other people and, and learning how they do other things, because in school, they teach you one thing. But when you go and intern or work for somebody else, you learn little tricks and hacks that you will be like, aha, uh -huh, I they didn't teach me in school um, that particular technique. And now I could do it. So it's good. OK, awesome. Well, outside of fashion, you shared your HIV positive status with the world in 2013 and have worked to raise HIV awareness among millennials and members of the Latino communities. Can you talk more about your mission to help eradicate the stigma surrounding HIV? Yeah, absolutely. I teamed up on uh, with Ampar. Um, to to create awareness, to push also uh, the stigma aside because uh, there's a lot of misinformation. So I take I take the opportunity when I can, uh, when people have questions or even when people have uh, an ignorance uh, belief of something and not in a bad way, but it's more like if they don't know something, I I for sure would let them know just so that yeah. so that so that they can forget about that stigma because it really is nothing. We're just like everybody else, and we live healthy and happy and i think we should celebrate that we're at this point where it's almost eradicated by okay. medical field it, you know we're at that very close premise of, of finding out the cure so we should uh we should be celebrating it now definitely hiv is no longer a death sentence exactly yeah and and you know i i always love to to talk to people especially that just got in um with uh, transmitted with the disease i just I love to to take care of them and, and take them under my wing and tell them that it's not a death sentence because it's very important. A lot of misinformation think that you're going to die because of that, you know, and it's kind of sad to think that way. So, yeah, I always like to influence and help people. Awesome. That's amazing. Well, Victor, what are some future goals you hope to accomplish with your fashion career? Well, my I mean, future goals are, are you know, endless. I want to do a lot of stuff, but. But I saw, as of right now, I'm doing this collection that I think it's gonna um, take me to a new level because I have this whole idea of, of dressing men, menswear, um, in a way that uh, we haven't seen. It could be for a red carpet, for weddings. I, I think that there's a missing formula for men to dress and be as beautiful as a gown and mm -hmm. vice versa with women. So I'm creating men's tailoring for women, but okay. I, it also has drapey pieces so if, you know, if anybody who is part of the LGBT community, like a lesbian who wants to be beautiful, but still feel like a um, masculine, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Or the idea of masculine, masculinity, uh, I, that's what I'm doing. I think there's a niche that I need to grab and, and take, take it from there. Yeah, awesome. Now, this collection you're working on, when will it uh, premiere? Uh, it's on July 18th. I'm going to show it in Guadalajara. Mexico they invited me to go there uh it, the place is called Intermoda and um and then I will release the, all the images and all the pictures because we're doing the lookbook there okay. then after that I'm collaborating and doing a video presentation of the collection so it's going to be very romantic and powerful so that that's going to be around uh the, the end of August okay perfect fantastic well Victor how can one stay up to date with you well, they could follow me on my social media. You know, I need followers. I, <laughs> I'm like one of the early Instagram, you know, accounts. So I haven't really had a chance to grow it yet. But it's uh, Victor Luna at Victor Luna. Same okay. thing with Twitter at Victor Luna. 
And my website, you guys can check it out. I opened up a new store and a new uh, face front of my page. So you could see all my work there and all my all my um, products that you guys could attain. Okay, awesome. Then before we wrap up, are there any other upcoming projects or anything else you would like to mention or plug at this time? Um, you know, I'm just more most important, I'm excited about this show. I think this show has brought so many people into the forefront, young designers that would never had a chance to be part of this beautiful world of fashion. And I'm just thankful and happy that I'm part of the season. So I hope you guys enjoy it and, and try to support all the other designers that are still there too, mm -hmm. because uh, they're going to be, uh, it's going to be a, an amazing season. It's mm -hmm. like the best. Yeah, so we can't wait. And when does it air? It's going to air on June 15th at 8 p.m. on Bravo. Okay, fantastic.